If you can't tell by all of the labeling on the box, this is an Acer Nitro 5 gaming laptop, and this video is a bit of an unboxing and showcase around it. Now, I want to make it clear, Acer has sponsored this video to kind of promote this rather nice laptop, and actually quite a budget laptop as well, so if you are interested in it, take a look at the Curry's PC World link in the description down below, where you can check out this laptop in this specific spec, and uh, see if you fancy one. Now, this is a genuine unboxing experience, as the seal is actually still full fully intact, so we're going to have to rip out the uh, karambit and uh, get into this. So let's uh, let's get everything out of the box and then we'll uh, kind of take a look at what you get and the laptop itself. Just as a quick note, it's actually quite nicely packaged. You've got soft cell foam and then your power adapter in a separate box and overall uh, quite nice, obviously a sort of anti-static and sort of soft cloth bag as well, so yeah, quite nice. So just taking the laptop out of the box, I don't know if you can see that, I'll do some close-ups, but uh, there's a very nice sort of carbon fibre look on the top, but then a really nice red accent on the back with the sort of Nitro logo in it. It's actually quite quite a, a good looking laptop. It's, it's a bit subtle, which is also quite nice, because a lot of gaming laptops have a habit of being really, really like, in your face, so that's quite nice. So a quick tour around the laptop while we have it out. Uh, obviously on the top, as I said, you got that sort of nice carbon fiber kind of look to it with the Nitro logo. Uh, on the back, you have half of the entire width as ventilation, which is quite nice and hopefully means it runs quite cool. Uh, on the, I suppose, right side, if you're looking at it from the front, you have DC in, two USB 2 ports, and a headphone microphone combo ports, or three and a half mil jack. And then on the left-hand side, as you kind of look at it, uh, you have Gigabit Ethernet, USB Type-C, HDMI, USB 3, and an SD card reader, as well as a Kensington lock, which is actually not too bad, especially for a laptop of this price, so yeah, pretty cool. Inside the clamshell, you have a 1080p IPS display, which means some pretty nice viewing angles, and then the keyboard and trackpad, with the trackpad being sort of no uh, physical buttons, although it does still have physical left and right clicks down the bottom, they're just not separated, and then you obviously have the keyboard itself, which actually is one of the nicer keyboards, especially considering how many people are using this sort of faux mechanical. This one is just genuinely, uh, you know, a, a nice feel to it. Now, in terms of the spec of the model I have, it is a Ryzen 5 2500U with 8 gigs of RAM. It also has a 128 uh, gig SSD or M.2, I believe, as well as a one terabyte hard drive. And you have uh, an RX 560 graphics chip with four gigabytes of dedicated VRAM, which is nice considering that a lot of gaming laptops, even in this sort of price category, uh, often have some sort of shared graphics or you know things like shared uh, VRAM and stuff like that. So uh, to have a dedicated chip at this sort of price point is also quite nice. The note that comes inside the clamshell says that you need to have it plugged in when you start it up for the first time. So just plugged it in. Let's take a look at it. See um, kind of what it's like to game on and all that sort of stuff. So they've got the laptop all set up and I was playing a few games on it and it's actually a pretty great experience, especially for this price point. Now, I may do a full review of this in the future. Obviously, I can't really do that in this video since this is sponsored and that'd be just a tad bit biased. But um, if you're interested in seeing a completely separate video to this one, uh, actually fully reviewing this laptop, then let me know in the comments down below. But otherwise, uh, just a kind of quick uh, usage experience. I was actually pretty impressed with the keyboard and trackpad. They're overall pretty nice. Um, I would also mention that on the inside of the, the laptop, the uh, cooling system is actually pretty decent. Not only is it very quiet, obviously you, can, you can't hear it now, but even when gaming it's still pretty quiet as well. And actually what, what, what they've done is have the CPU and the GPU off to one side of the motherboard, but then connected via heat pipes to a effectively a pretty large thin array heat sink with then two fans that blow air through that and they, they sort of share the, the heat sink, um, which means that it's actually, again, pretty effective, especially for this spec. So that is actually quite nice. They've also got an SK Hynix M.2 SSD and a 48 watt hour battery, which certainly isn't too bad, especially again for this kind of price point. So yeah, I guess that's that. So as I said, if you're interested in taking a look at the laptop or picking one of these up, there is a link in the description, that's the top one, the, the bit.ly link, uh, that will take you to Curry's PC World where you can actually check out the laptop, see the pricing, the different models, and perhaps pick one up yourself. If you are interested or if you just have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments down below. And of course, thank you to Acer for sponsoring this video. It massively helps me out and keeps me making these videos as my full-time job. So thank you very much to them. And thank you to you for watching as well. There are plenty 
of other links in the description if you do want to further support me in the channel and if you've got any other uh, questions or anything I said leave them in the comments down below. You can also check out that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. There are plenty of other videos over here for you to check out. Otherwise that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you all in the next video.